it's time for an update on our bunchies. And here they are. They're growing pretty well. So the ones over here on this side are doing excellent. They've got a really big, their stems are going really well. Uh, this one you can see, he's got a lot of build up on him. And as I suspected, it is edema that is causing this. And it means that there's uh, too much liquid uptake and not enough evaporation opportunities. So I have increased airflow, as you can see the, the fan is moving those ones. Uh, but I think it's also got to do with the fact that he's just so compact with a lot of leaves. Hopefully I'm going to get another bucket to put them into. Cat 1 here is coming to assist. Hey Cat 1. So that's our mini bell orange at the back, our marbles at the front, and the pink habanero in the middle here. On this side we have the Trepidina Warner, and he's got pretty big leaves, some really nice back budding happening as well, probably due for another topping soon. We have our Pimento Shao, I think is the way you pronounce this guy, and he's getting a really nice thick stem already given size so that's my thumb in comparison and you can see how thick his stem is already got and it's really quite nice our new mix twilight is definitely due for probably more topping um his leaves are really quite nice i like them they're really sort of long thin ones our starfish at the back here, we've had two leaves that have grown yellow like this and I normally prune it off pretty fast but I left it on for this video. This is usually a sign that there's underwatering issues given that with hydroponics it's not likely a thing. Um, or an issue with the nutrients, the amount of nutrients that the plant is getting. So I may need to actually start adding more nutrients into this bucket as I go. You see in there the roots are still pretty white and nice and they're happy but it's I've allowed the water level to drop off the basic uh, at the original height and I need to start adding in nutrients as I refill it. Bolivian rainbow is probably my favorite for the color variations. He's still pretty slow growing. His underside leaves are green with the purple veins. He is still a little bit slow growing, especially compared to the others, but he is still growing, so he's going to make a really nice one. Now, the Abdija Beto, this was recommended as a bonsai or bonshi type plant, and I'm just not so sure. Like, look at the size of these leaves. Typically, with a bonshi, you want small leaves, and this one, he's just got big leaves. So they're the main bonchi units growing. And if we come around up here to the other seedlings that I've planted, you can see that four of them have sprouted. The orange habanero seeds, we just got a lot of mold but no germination again off of him. But four others have sprouted and they're doing okay and I'm probably going to have to come across with some diamaceous earth and try and fight back some of that mold again. And finally we have my Piccolino Basils. I've pruned this guy back recently. I've focused a lot on his, root, uh, on his roots. What are these? Branching. Let's try and spin him so it's a bit better to see it. So I've focused on his branching, trying to get it to go outwards and I've cut off any branches that were pointing straight up or coming back into the bush with the exception of this one here which is sort of moving back towards the center giving some more overall coverage up here um, this will eventually regrow some his brother or two brothers because there's actually two plants in this one is still really nice and thick but he is starting to get some flowers developing so I do need to come in and prune him back. So there his flowers, if I can get them in focus. So he started to, to bolt and put out some flowers. But it just shows you how nice and like the size of them. 
can hurt to like my hand. They've got a really gorgeous size to them. And they've got a really decent base chunk structure that's really quite interesting. So once this guy recovers a little bit more, I'm going to come back and prune these guys and shape them a bit more. I'm thinking focus on the branching structure of this guy and focus on a nice top shaping for this one and compare them over time as they grow. And that's all for the bunchies today. Bye!